Hi everybody and welcome to Swamp Gas Gaming. More details about Battlefield 1 continue to trickle in after the official announcement and the trailer made their debut a few days ago. One of the details that has come down has me a little concerned about the historical perspective rather than the gameplay and that is the lack of information about bolt action rifles. We know there were bolt action sniper rifles in the trailer with telescopic optics and that those were commonly used in the front lines of World War I. However, there is no mention of them in all the talk that I have heard on YouTube or have read. Bolt action rifles with open iron sights were more frequent than any other type of infantry weapon. I would imagine that 99% of the primary weapons in the Great War were of this type. Yet I've heard none of the classes will work this way. I'm not sure how official it is, but what they're saying right now is the medic class will be issued with semi-automatic rifles. The assault class will get submachine guns. The support class light machine guns. The scout class will replace the recon in Battlefield 4 and they will get scoped bolt action rifles. Semi-automatic rifles were very scarce in World War I because they were complex and difficult to maintain which made them very unreliable in the field. In World War I the submachine gun was in its infancy and saw very little use on the battlefield. The standard infantry rifle of the German army, the G98 also known as the M98 and the Gerer 98 had a production run of 5 million from 1898 to 1919 although some of those weapons were contracted to other countries. In contrast the MP18 submachine gun did not reach full production into 1918 and only about 5,000 were produced and saw action only at the very end of the war. The light machine gun we know today was very different from the World War I versions. Guns like the British Vickers gun would be very difficult or impossible to use standing up against the shoulder for any period of time because its minimum weight was 33 pounds. Today the M60 machine gun is bad enough to do this with and that weighs 23 pounds. Scope sniper rifles were nearly the same as their open sighted counterparts used by normal troops. They were rare and only issued to really good marksmen. There has been no mention of how shotguns will be used among the different classes in Battlefield 1. Um, but the shotgun in World War I was relatively uncommon, sort of like the sniper rifles, but they certainly existed in fairly large numbers overall. Because of the lack of discussion of bolt-action rifles, I'm worried that the historical infantry weapon balance will be way off. I know this is all speculation at this point, but I'm still concerned. What DICE may end up creating is an elite group of soldiers set in 1918. I think that would be bad from a historical perspective, but can still make a fantastic game. For instance, the ratio of aircraft, armor, and infantry is completely wrong, but it's still an amazing game. As primarily an infantry player in Battlefield 4, I would like to see the number of armor and air reduced, but I'm still satisfied with the current gameplay. I'm sure I will be with the way bolt-action rifles and sniper rifles, semi-automatic rifles, and submachine guns work. I can see why DICE may have reduced the bolt-action's role in this game. Turn bolts are harder to use because of their low rate of fire. To be successful against any enemy, your aim as well as your tactics must be very good. The big old guns are less sexy than the massive firepower of the light machine gun or the somewhat steampunk looking submachine gun. For those who decide to use a Mauser 98 or a Lee Enfield No. 1 Mark III, I hope they do an incredible amount of damage to make up for their slow rate of fire. I'm looking forward to see how this all plays out in the reality of the game that we get. DICE may have just made the bolt action rifle a side note in the trailer compared to all the other rifles because they are just less cool looking. Personally I like the big old long guns a great deal, but on the video game battlefield they wouldn't be my first choice. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.